GHS 39. spiritually and physically and materially you will impress upon our hearts be with us enlighten us instruct us teach us as we reach together now in jesus name i pray we'll continue for the reading now the book of the prophet ezekiel chapter 4 
Take thee a tile, and lay it before thee, and portray upon it the city, even Jerusalem, and lay siege against it, and build a fort against it, and cast a mount against it. Set the camp also against it, and set battering rams against it round about. Moreover, take thou unto thee an iron pan, and set it for a wall of iron between thee and the city, and set thy face against it, and it shall be besieged, and thou shalt lay siege against it. This shall be a sign to the house of Israel. Lie thou also upon thy left side, and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it. According to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon it, thou shalt bear their iniquity. For I have laid upon thee the years of their iniquity, according to the number of the days, three hundred and ninety days. So shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. And when thou hast accomplished them, lie again on thy right side, and thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah forty days. I have appointed thee each day for a year. Therefore thou shalt set thy face toward the siege of Jerusalem, and thine arm shall be uncovered, and thou shalt prophesy against it. And behold, I will lay bands upon thee, and thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another, till thou hast ended the days of thy siege. Take thou also unto thee wheat, and barley, and beans, and lentils, and millet, and fitches, and put them in one vessel, and make thee bread thereof, according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thy side. Three hundred and ninety days shalt thou eat thereof. And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight twenty shekels a day. From time to time shalt thou eat it. Thou shalt drink also water by measure, the sixth part of an hymn. From time to time shalt thou drink. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. And thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, my soul hath not been polluted. For from my youth up even till now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself, or is torn in pieces, neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth. Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cow's dung for man's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. Moreover he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water, and be astonished one with another, and consume away for their iniquity. Chapter 5 And thou, son of man, take thee a sharp knife, take thee a barber's razor, and cause it to pass upon thine head and upon thy beard. Then take thee balances to weigh and divide the hair. Thou shalt burn with fire a third part in the midst of the city, when the days of the siege are fulfilled. And thou shalt take a third part, and smite about it with a knife. And a third part thou shalt scatter in the wind. And I will draw out a sword after them. Thou shalt also take thereof a few in number, and bind them in thy skirts. Then take of them again, and cast them into the midst of the fire, and burn them in the fire. For thereof shall a fire come forth into all the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God, This is Jerusalem. I have set it in the midst of the nations and countries that are round about her. And she hath changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations, and my statutes more than the countries that are round about her. For they have refused my judgments and my statutes, they have not walked in them. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Because ye multiplied more than the nations that are round about you, and have not walked in my statutes, neither have kept my judgments, neither have done according to the judgments of the nations that are round about you, therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, am against thee, and will execute judgments in the midst of thee in the sight of the nations. And I will do in thee that which I have not done, and whereunto I will not do any more the like, because of all thine abominations. Therefore, the fathers shall eat the son. in the midst of thee, and the sons shall eat their fathers. 
and I will execute judgments in thee, and the whole remnant of thee will I scatter into all the winds. Wherefore, as I live, said the Lord God, surely because thou hast defiled my sanctuary with all thy detestable things and with all thine abominations, therefore will I also diminish thee. Neither shall mine eyes spare, neither will I have any pity. A third part of thee shall die with the pestilence, and with the famine shall they be consumed in the midst of thee. And a third part shall fall by the sword round about thee. And I will scatter a third part into all the winds, and I will draw out a sword after them. Thus shall mine anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, and I will be comforted. And they shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it in my zeal when I have accomplished my fury in them. Moreover, I will make thee waste and a reproach among the nations that are round about thee in the sight of all that pass by. So it shall be a reproach and a taunt, an instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee when I shall execute judgments in thee in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes. I, the Lord, have spoken it when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you. And I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee. And pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Chapter 6 And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face toward the mountains of Israel, and prophesy against them, and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God to the mountains, and to the hills, to the rivers, and to the valleys. Behold, I, even I, will bring a sword upon you, and I will destroy your high places, and your altar shall be desolate, and your images shall be broken. And I will cast down your slain men before your idols, and I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols, and I will scatter your bones round about your altars. In all your dwelling places the cities shall be laid waste, and the high places shall be desolate, that your altars may be laid waste and made desolate, and your idols may be broken and cease, and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished. And the slain shall fall in the midst of you, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Yet will I leave a remnant, that ye may have some that shall escape the sword among the nations, when ye shall be scattered through the countries. And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations whither they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whorish heart which hath departed from me, and with their eyes which go a-whoring after their idols, and they shall loathe themselves for the evils which they have committed in all their abominations. And they shall know that I am the Lord, and that I have not said in vain that I would do this evil unto them. Thus saith the Lord God, Smite with thine hand, and stamp with thy foot, and say, Alas for all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, for they shall fall by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. He that is far off shall die of the pestilence, and he that is near shall fall by the sword, and he that remaineth and is besieged shall die by the famine. Thus will I accomplish my fury upon them. Then shall ye know that I am the Lord, when their slain men shall be among their idols round about their altars, upon every high hill, in all the tops of the mountains, and under every green tree, and under every thick oak, the place where they did offer sweet savour to all their idols." So will I stretch out my hand upon them, and make the land desolate, yea, more desolate than the wilderness toward Diblath, in all their habitations. And they shall know that I am the Lord. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment? A warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you are blanched in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.
you can take anymore. Jess says you'll never reach the shore. God says you're going to make it. possible in every life in Jesus name 
call to salvation. Consecrated for revival, healing, and deliverances. For every gospel crusade, people run to Jesus and joy fills the air. This aptly describes the man, William Folorusho Kumui. The Sunday secret, when you hear the word, you do not receive it as the word of man, but as it is in truth, the word of God. The one to give you super abundant living has now come. A man amiable and humble, Kumui ascribes all glory to God for successes in his life and ministry. A man who is passionate about humanity and known for his stand on holiness and righteousness. Where is holiness if there's no obedience? When you hear the word, you obey the word. Kumui has consistently emphasized that repentance through God in the name of Jesus Christ remains the solution to problems of humanity and indeed the world. A father has raised up, has appointed Jesus as the divine connector. You mentioned that name, you'll be connected immediately. You want to have this reconnection with the Almighty God through the Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are, just raise up your hand. I receive the Lord as my personal Savior. I pray you receive all these people now in Jesus' name. Healing, deliverance, do the impossible in every life in Jesus' name. Hearing since I was born, but today now I can't hear. I can't hear everything now. It has happened. For six years now, I'm being paralyzed. I'm, I cannot move without reach using crosses. God swim me through. I thank God for the miracle the Lord has done for in my life. See her walking. 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 Put her together. A reformer who not only considers his physical audience, but personally reached out to the online audience. At a time that most countries of the world face the effect of global recession and global warming, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui decided to rally help for the needy across the world. My mind also is on uh, is with the online people. I've been praying for them that those who are online will really have a definite visitation of God and a definite touch. Kumui had a live broadcast in a global call for divine connection to Jesus live from Abuja, Nigeria and online to the world. He emphasized the need for humanity to become sober and repentant for a new start. And that connection led to liberation as stories of sadness and gloom turned to joy and good. The April program led to another live broadcast in July 2021. This link from Calabar, South South Nigeria, to the world, their social media, produced an avalanche of signs and wonders. Go ahead! Go ahead! Go ahead! Go ahead! Go ahead! Go ahead. <laughs> Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui is clearly a gift from God. A gift that keeps on giving. At 80 years of age, he has shown consistency and commitment to sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. From Asia to America, Africa, Europe, and practically the entire world. I just want to thank God every day and praise our Lord that he showed me Deeper Life Bible Church. And I want to thank Dr. W. F. Kumai for changing my way of thinking of Jesus Christ. The story is the same. Kumi goes everywhere with the name of Jesus. And just as it's highlighted about Jesus in scriptures, everywhere he went, he keeps doing good with signs following. At this global crusade, the international evangelist, Pastor Dr. William Kumui, will be ministering live along with special ministration in songs by an international artist. Hey friends, 
Don Moen here, and I want to invite you to join me at the Divine Touch for Total Freedom Global Crusade, where I'll be leading worship with Pastor William Kumuyi of Deeper Christian Life Ministries. This event will be streamed live to the world from August 26th through August 31st, 2021 at 1600 hours GMT daily with a special Sunday worship service scheduled at 0700 GMT. So as we come together to worship and build a throne for God with our praise, He will be with us to heal, to save, to deliver, to provide for every need, to give us His divine touch for total freedom. So invite your friends and family and join us August 26th through August 31st for the Divine Touch for Total Freedom Global Crusade. Go to www.dclm.org to learn more and we look forward to seeing you there. A torch transformation is coming your way. A global crusade with an international minister of God, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi, ministering live, and Don Moen, world-renowned gospel artists, also ministering in songs. My God is mighty to save. From Enugu, Southeast Nigeria, West Africa, alive to the world, their satellites, and all our social media platforms. Thursday, August 26th to Tuesday, August 31, 5 p.m. daily. Saturday 4 p.m. and Sunday worship service 8 a.m. with evening revival at 5 p.m. This is one touch that guarantees a beautiful life. There'll be a manifestation in every life, joy in every family. Get connected to a divine touch with God's general, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui. One touch and you are made whole. I see the Lord coming your way. I see the Lord touching you. I see the Lord lifting the problem out of your life tonight in Jesus' name. Touch me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. Father, we thank you that everyone that demands Everyone that asks, everyone that desires divine touch, supernatural touch, healing touch, miracle walking touch, mountain moving touch, you have done it already. And we pray by the time we finish the message and the ministration, miracles over there, miracles over there, miracles on that side. Miracles outside, miracles everywhere were connected in Jesus' name. We give you the glory because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. That's very good. Another Enugu amen before you sit down. You are blessed already. Sit down for your divine touch. Tonight, I'm reading a story to you. Why am I reading the story to you? Because the word of God says, Whatsoever things were written, at four time, they're written for our learning. That is, the story I'm reading to you, I've been reaching in the Bible for you. And they're reaching for your learning that you, that I, that we, through the comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. There is hope for you tonight. And that hope, you will not miss it in Jesus' name. It says, these things happened unto them. What I'm going to read to you, the woman that came and touched the Lord, and the torch drew the virtue of Christ unto her. These things were written for our admonition, for our instruction, for our learning that we who are now living at the end of the age, at the end of time, will receive the same miracles that, is, that they received. And tonight, what everything we read is for you. 
Every promise we claim is for you. Every touch we have is for you. Every good thing you are going to hear tonight will be transferred into your life. Into my life. I can't hear my good people. Into your life in Jesus' name. If you have your Bible there, you open to Mark chapter 5 verse 25. If you don't have your Bible, don't worry. I'll read it to you. And a certain woman, Mark chapter 5, verse 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Think about that this way. And a certain person, a man, a woman, my friend over there, a certain person which had an issue. Everybody has an issue. For her, an issue of blood for for other people issue of failure in life and for other people is the issue of depression issue of disease it's an issue of a problem in the family everyone somewhere has an issue and the issue tonight god will bring solution the issue of sin God will bring solution. And the issue of weakness in potency in your life, God will bring solution. And the issue of failure in your life, it will turn your failure to success tonight in Jesus' name. Some people have an issue, an issue in the family. And that issue in the family, the Lord will clear it away tonight in Jesus' name. A certain woman, a certain person, that time, this time, had an issue. For her, an issue of blood for 12 years. Look at verse 26. She had suffered many things of many physicians the physicians there were the people that she thought she could get help from maybe yours is not a physician yes she had suffered many things for many philosophers there are some people they go to philosophers they go to psychologists and they think the problem of their life, the issue of their life will be solved by the philosopher, by the psychiatrist, by the physicians. And then it says she suffered many things of many physicians. The people who said they were helpers, many of us have gone to people that we think would help us and just like she did some people go to local healers other people go to hypnotists other people go to herbalists other people go to traditionalists wherever you have gone and you have not got the solution the solution is here for you tonight the power of God will touch you tonight in Jesus name she had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and she was nothing bettered but rather grew worse rather grow worse and then in verse 27 and when she had heard of Jesus she heard what she heard you are hearing tonight Anytime somebody having an issue, having a problem, having disappointment in life, having failure in life, having powerlessness, and has gone from bad to worse, the day, the moment you begin to hear about Jesus, your solution is on the way. And then she came in the press behind. You know what? There are people that hear, just like many of us are here tonight. And over there in the countries where you are, every continent we are connected together, you are hearing many people here 
but they do not come. They hear, they vanish into the same air. There is no decision, there is no action. They hear, they do not come, but it's the people that hear and they follow up on what they heard and they come and they forsake those other people the local gurus that they have run after the philosophers they have run after the gang and the occultic powers they have run after they put them to the back and they come as you come today there will be no disappointment in your life she had heard of Jesus and came in the press behind press behind the press there is not talking of you know the press journalist is talking of the pressure of the crowd of the multitude some people are lost in the multitude in the press once they see a large crowd they forget why they came they look in at everything happening they become spectators but the woman said i have an issue and i'm going to resolve this issue and you tonight you are there you have an issue you are going to resolve this issue heaven is going to resolve your issue for you in jesus name and so crouch or no crouch press or no press pressure or no pressure as you come the lord will touch you yeah. and he touched his garment that's what he was looking for peter was there uh -uh, i'm not here for peter james john were there i'm not here for them i came for jesus how many of you came for Jesus tonight? Jesus the healer. Jesus the deliverer. And Jesus your savior, your redeemer. If you come for him and you concentrate on him, he'll touch you tonight. He will touch me tonight. And then in verse 20, look at verse 28. For she said, if I may touch, but his clothes i shall behold she said i am going with expectation i am going with faith i am going with confidence and she said the time of her miracle the moment i touch him i touch his clothes i if nobody else gets anything, I shall be whole. When you say that and you are confident, you will not miss your miracle. You say it in your heart. You mean it in your heart. You purpose it in your heart. You decide today is my day. Nothing, no barrier. Nothing, there's no demarcation nothing there is no wall of separation between me and my miracle tonight if that is your heart you are going to get it i shall be made whole and then look at verse 29 and straight away that same time straight away that same hour straight away that same moment the fountain of our blood was dried up every problem comes from a mount from a fountain every sickness comes from a fountain every deformity comes from a fountain the fountain is not seen the fountain is invisible what we see is what is coming out of the fountain blindness coming out of the fountain Paralysis coming out of the fountain, impotence coming out of the fountain, diabetes coming out of the fountain, the plague coming out of the fountain.
fountain the problem you have the issue you have coming out of the fountain and then the Lord goes to the fountain of your problem and then he touches you the fountain will dry up when the fountain dries up then blinders are open the lame they rise up and walk and impossibilities become possible and Christ is the one the power of God that touches the fountain and the fountain of all problems will vanish away praise the Lord you are healed and delivered today in Jesus name and she felt in her body you know a fountain i'm sure you've seen fountain of water before fountain of water gushing out gushing out gushing out all around you will see the effect when that fountain dries up you will see the effect everything around will dry up and when the fountain of your problem dries up tonight after the divine torch Look at that, look at that, look at that. I will see a miracle upon your life right there. And, and then it says, she was healed of that plague. Look at verse 34. In verse 34, it says, and he said unto her, daughter, look at that, she became a daughter, daughter of God. Today, you are son. Today, you are daughter. You come, you are invited into the family of God. And you will have a place in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Thy faith has made thee whole. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. Tonight, Peace. Yeah. Trouble all gone. Yeah. Confusion all gone. Yeah. Powerlessness all gone. Yeah. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. That's the story. The story is for you. I'm talking today on the healing virtue or in the divine touch. The healing virtue in the divine touch three things very quickly number one the worsening condition without any helpful victory the worsening condition she went here she went there she went forth she went backward she went everywhere without any helpful victory that was the beginning number two the worthy confession with a hopeful voice worthy confession if i just touch him and he touches me and virtue comes out of him into my life today i will be made whole that's your confession today i said that's your confession today it will happen i see it coming on you already it will happen Day number three is the wonderful cure through his healing virtue. The wonderful cure, wonder of all wonders, that you will carry miracles back home tonight. Salvation, you take back home tonight. Healing, you take back home tonight. Deliverance, you'll take back home tonight in Jesus' name. The wonderful cure through his healing virtue. Let's come to number one. Number one is the condition of the woman. The condition where everybody finds himself before he gets to Christ. The worsening condition without any helpful victory. Look at verse 25. It says, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Then in verse 26, it says, And had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, 
I was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. That's the condition in which we find a lot of people. Check up your life. Everyone were born as babies. And then we have all our parts of the body. We're growing up and growing up. By the time we're growing up, we're depreciating. We're becoming worse. Sometimes, before we even become 40, eyesight is gone. Before we become 50, the legs are not functioning well again. We're going from bad to worse, like this a woman. And then we begin to seek help here and help there. And yet, the condition is getting worse. That means all around, all I see is decay. They came that you'll find in that song abide with me and then as you look at your life the heart getting weak eyesight getting dim joints not moving again the blood vessels are not running the kidney something is happening is decaying everybody getting worse and then there's a peculiar disease that comes and that particular disease they give drugs they give injection they give a this and all the therapy and below and behold things are getting worse and you're spending money you're spending time you're spending your intelligence you're spending everything you've got and it appears the condition is getting worse it's like there is not only decay there's not only depreciation there's devaluation devaluation that people are not worth now what they what they were worth about 10 years ago it's like you know the beauty is going the strength is going the ability is going even the things we used to know forgetfulness is coming in we're going worse and worse and worse there is devaluation that's what happened to the woman it happens to us number one in the body it happens to us number two in our soul in our emotion we become so weak some people as they go from bad to worse they cry at every little thing depression comes to them and distress comes to them and because of those problems the emotional life is weakened to the point they are just broken down and they go from bad to worse to the body we're becoming worse in the soul we're becoming worse in our spirit the spirit also is getting to a worse and worse and worse condition the things we could stand against before we cannot stand against them anymore and the courage of spirit and the courage in your soul and the courage in your mind that was there before that courage is no more there now morally we're going down spiritually we're going down physically we're going down and then we try to seek help we seek help from advisors and from philosophers and from physicians and from everybody around and all the things they give us we try them some people even try pills before they can sleep they try pills and before they can do anything they have to try pills and all those pills will just weaken you and become dependent on all those pills and you say what am i going to do some people get worse to the point they even try to commit suicide but you will not die before your time the issue in your life will not drive you to that kind of depression devastation in your life in jesus name now if you look at isaiah chapter 1 verse 6 it tells us what happens to a nation what happens to an individual what happens to a family what happens to a tribe what happens to a community it says in isaiah chapter 1 verse 6 it says from the soul of the foot even unto the head there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores and they have not been closed neither bound up neither 
mollified with ointment. He just saying that the that's the situation of the man, and that is that what everybody discovers in his own life. And then we told about the woman that even though there was no health, and she had gone from physician to physician, she spent all that she had. She became penniless. No health, no dignity, no life, buoyant life, powerful life. Because all the people that were supposed to help, they brought her down. They got all her money. Have you spent all your money? Everything you had? looking for solution to the problem and yet everything is becoming worse but now you are hearing of jesus and then you come and the lord says why do you spend your money on we on that which is not bread why do you spend your money on that which will not give you solution all the people that have come before us and they tried that they went from bad to worse. But the Lord is going to pick up you up tonight. And the, I said the Lord will pick you up tonight. From that dungeon where you are. The dungeon of decay and the fountain of impotence in your life. It will draw you up. It will take you up. And something new will happen in your life. In Jesus name. I'm so happy for you because the divine touch is coming upon your life tonight. And if you have been going down, going down, going down, today is the day for the Lord to touch you and pick you up and lift you up in Jesus' name. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12, it says, Yea. Verse 13, verse 13, thank you. We're looking at 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. But evil men and seducers, evil men and seducers, those who have not been to Christ for the cleansing fountain of the blood, evil men and seducers, those who tempt other people, oppress other people, those who live in sin, and those who have disobedience in their lives, oppression in their lives, and almost is everybody here when i say oppressors maybe you are thinking oh yes mr so and so is a great great oppre oppressor but you know what i found out anyone that has any power at all he does not use all the power profitably he wants to use the power over less privileged people to subdue them to suppress them to oppress them whatever power you have and whatever knowledge you have whatever ability you have if you don't have christ with that ability you don't have christ with those resources in your life you'll use it to oppress other people and evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse worse and worse deceiving and being deceived we've all been there we've all been there when people are sick instead of helping them the people that think uh -huh, now he's weak now she is weak and i'm going to use my health and my power and my ability to subdue him and to suppress him but today all suppression out of your life all oppression out of your life you will come to the Lord say I will come say it well I will come and the moment I come say it the moment I come salvation will come to me deliverance will come to me healing will come to me Congratulations, the Lord will touch you tonight. Look at number two here. Point number two is a worthy confession with a hopeful voice. A person that says, no, my life will not end like this. The Lord will confirm it in your life. 
this issue will not take my life the lord will confirm it to your life this fountain that is oozing out and oozing out will not end my life amen there is hope for you i said there is hope for you but that hope must come out in your voice look at mark chapter 5 verse 27 it says when she had heard of jesus look at that she heard of jesus too came in the press behind three touched its garment verse 28 for she said if i may touch but his clothes i shall be whole now if you look at that verse 27 number one she heard she paid attention you know some people you tell them about jesus savior he died for you he rose again he will forgive your sin there's no other name whereby you can be saved except the name of jesus because he is the way he is the truth he is the life and when you know him when you get connected with him he shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free and if the son shall make you free ye shall be free indeed tonight is the night of your freedom some people here they don't pay attention and so they don't know what they're going to do to be able to connect with that divine touch and with that saving touch and with that sanctifying touch and without with that strengthening touch and with that healing touch they hear they don't understand and the bible says when someone hears the words of the kingdom and he does not understand it then that wicked one cometh and take it from his heart that thing which he had but this woman said i heard satan will not take it away from me i heard activities will not take it away from me i heard people around and their actions will not take it away from me i heard i'm going to keep what i've heard i'm going to act on what i heard and so number one she heard and if you are going to receive help thank god your help is near the number one thing is that you hear you hear that jesus is savior your savior you hear that jesus is healer your healer you hear that jesus is deliverer he will break every chain every shackle in your life in jesus name i remember some years ago we were in onicha in the southeast here and then this man was having insanity totally totally mad change in the heart and padlock because he was wild violent like an animal and then we, we spoke about jesus jesus our deliverer and he heard even though he had mental problem he heard and then when we prayed i said when i pray in the name of jesus the hand of the lord will touch you all your problems will be taken away and he believed even though it was a mental problem and then we prayed and said in jesus name you are delivered and onicha people those onicha people not to say amen just like enogon people praise the lord and when they said amen the man came to his senses all the things that bound him in the heart everything was taken away and he came and said why did they put this on my hand and then the chains were removed the padlock was removed and he came to give testimony and that man almost became a preacher he said i have delivered and i put it to your mouth tonight you are delivered 
Say, I am delivered. This woman heard, he heard that Jesus is Savior. He heard that Jesus is healer. He heard that Jesus is deliverer. And came. And came. It's not everybody that has heard that gets saved, only the people that hear and they come. It's not everybody that has heard that gets healed, only the people that hear and they come. And as you come tonight, you act on the word you have heard and the healing virtue of the Lord will flow into your body. And the saving virtue of the Lord will flow into your body. And the sanctifying virtue in Christ as you touch him will flow into your spirit. And the strengthening virtue, that virtue of Christ gives us strength, gives us salvation, gives us sanctification, holiness without which no man shall save the Lord, and gives us strength, power in the Holy Ghost. And tonight, power will come to your life in Jesus' name. She came in the press. That's the crowd. There are people that forget their request, forget why they came they become a spectator as they see the crowd but this woman said i've carried this issue for 12 years and i'm not going to allow any press any pressure any crouch any multitude to hinder me i see jesus there i'm getting to him I'm not even going to say I want to shake hands with him. All I want to do is touch the hem of his garment. And the moment I touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole from 12 years problem. Whatever the number of years your problem have stage, Whatever the number of years you've been carrying what you are carrying. Did you hear that testimony of uh, that our young sister that had fibroid? Four pieces like balls. And she came yesterday and she paid attention like you are paying attention. And the Lord touched her yesterday and then she got back home. Lo and behold everything came out once the fountain is touched everything every pollution every plague every disease every infirmity from that fountain will come out of your body and then she said if i only touch i only touch his clothes i shall be made whole look at verse 29 in verse 29 it says and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up cancer dried up diabetes dried up the works of satan dried up the power of evil dried up your tears dried up. A miracle touch is coming your way. And then, look at this. She felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. She felt in her body. Let me tell you this. Sometimes, the feeling in your body after you hear the name of Jesus can be so small like when Elijah prayed and then he sent his servant out he had prayed for rain not only rain in a village in a town in a community in the whole nation of Israel and the rain of blessing of miracle is going to fall tonight 
At Enugu here, it will fall for everyone. In the whole of the nation, Nigeria, in every city, every town, the rain of miracles will fall in Jesus' name. In all the countries of Africa, and in all, in all the cities everywhere, America, Asia, those who are online, you are in your home there, pay attention, you hear, you come, and then you voice it out, and you confess, when I touch him, he touches me, all the fountain of my problems, everything will dry up. Give me a good amen. Like a little cloud. Elijah said to his servant, go and see, check up. And he came back, I see nothing. Some people, they end the meeting at that point. But Elijah said, go and check up again. He came back and said, I see nothing. Some people, they say, I don't want to miss the bus. I don't want to miss the car. I'm going now wait check up you will see the miracle there the third time he went and came back and i see nothing elijah said you must see not something what kind of eyes do you have eyes of unbelief eyes of discouragement eyes of tradition eyes of habit or the eyes of faith go back and see and then at the seventh time he said i see somebody there i see somebody there i see somebody there i see a small cloud like a man's hand what i'm saying is when you check up it may be a little feeling it's not big, it's not enormous, a little feeling she felt in her body. That little feeling is the forerunner of a mighty reign of miracle in your life. And so you will act on that. If you have a little urge to stand up, you stand up. If you have a little urge to open your eyes and see, you open your eyes, miracle sight will be given unto you. A little urge to look at the place where the swelling was, touch it, it's still hard touch it again he said I touch it again that thing must go out of that place she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague look at Vastachi it says in Vastachi and Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him Virtue had gone out of him all the time. Even when Jesus was not praying, virtue coming out of him. Even when he appeared just walking and is not taking note of anyone, virtue coming out of him. You know what? Jesus is now by the right hand of the Heavenly Father. And he's sitting there and he knows about this divine touch for total freedom his attention is now on you and virtue is going to come out of him on your life in jesus name once there's somebody that has an issue and has a faith and is going to touch and is having expectation once there's somebody here there anywhere wanting to touch him now the lord is paying attention to you and that divine touch is going to come upon your life virtue is gone out of him and it turns him about in the press and said who touched my 
clothes. He knew is Jesus, is the Son of God. He knows all things, but he wanted the woman to come out, give testimony, and say, I am. And tonight I say, I am. Who touch is close? I am the one. I said, I am the one. Who has got the healing virtue tonight? I am. Who has got the saving touch tonight? I am. Who is getting the miracle tonight? I am. Who touched my clothes? Look at verse 31. And then it says in verse 31, And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and thou seest who touched me. And then in verse 32, it says, And he looked around, they bowed to see her. He will see you. He looked around about him to see her that had done this thing. And then in verse 33, And the woman fearing and trembling. Uh -uh. Why was she afraid? Because a woman having an issue of blood was unclean in Israel. And she wasn't to touch any utensil any couch, any chair, any bed, anything, anybody. And she, of all people, should not touch the high priest, should not touch a priest. She was unclean. And Jesus Christ, the high priest, come from heaven. And now Jesus turned around and said, who taught me? And the woman was afraid. I have done what I should not have done. No, woman, don't be afraid and don't tremble. When the unclean touches Christ, all the uncleanness will vanish away. When the defiled touches Jesus, all the defilement will vanish away. When a terrible sinner, a rejected sinner, when he touches the Lord, the Savior, all the sin will vanish away. And when you touch the Lord, he doesn't catch your cleanness. Your catch is health. Your catch is power. Your catch is virtue. And then all those unclean things in your life, touching Jesus, that's all. Everything will vanish away. And then she stood and told him all the truth. Public confession. Public testimony. You have a testimony. I have a testimony. He will forgive your sin. He will save your soul. He will change your life. And the fountain of sin, the fountain of defilement in your life will be dried up tonight in Jesus' name. I believe. I believe be it unto you according to your faith. Look at point number three now. Point number three, the wonderful kill through his healing virtue. Wonderful kill, wonderful conversion, wonderful cleansing, wonderful healing, wonderful deliverance as the healing, saving touch of the Lord comes upon you today. Let me have a good amen. Look at verse 34. Verse 34, it tells us, and he said unto her, he will talk to you tonight. The smile of heaven is coming upon your life. The glory, the goodness of heaven is coming upon your life. And that weakness in your body will vanish away. And that sickness in your body will vanish away. 
and the sin the captivating sin that holds you captive all that will be taken away tonight in jesus name and he said unto her daughter and he says unto you son you know to become a son of god a daughter of god come out from among them and be ye clean and touch not the unclean thing and i will be a father unto you and ye shall be my sons and my daughters says the lord almighty tonight as you come out of the crowd i don't mean this crowd out of the crowd of sinners out of the crowd of your gang out of the crowd of idol worshippers out of the crowd of evil doers and you come tonight and you touch the lord his salvation will come to you as many as received him to them he gave power to become the sons and the daughters of god even those that believe on his name as you believe on his name tonight you'll become a daughter i didn't hear the daughters amen you become a son in jesus name now are we the sons of god and it does not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when we shall see him will be like him he doesn't have cancer you'll not have cancer he doesn't have brain problem you'll not have brain problem he doesn't have infirmity you'll not have infirmity we will be like him for we shall see him as he is daughter thy faith has made thee whole thy faith has made thee whole oh somebody says a hey, pastor i wish i had faith of course you have faith thy faith thy faith you know the problem sometimes the faith is like a grain of mustard seed as when a grain of sand is in your pocket you're not feel it it's not witchy a grain of rice is in your pocket you'll not feel it the grain of mustard seed faith is in your heart right now because you know god is no respecter of persons if he did it for her he will do it for me he will do it for me he will dry the fountain he will save your soul whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be healed that faith will set you free tonight thy faith has made thee whole you are not incomplete anymore the faith has made thee whole impotence will vanish out of your life whole complete no lack no limitation you are made whole tonight in jesus name that thing boiling in your head will cool down and all those things walking about in your body everything will vanish away thy faith has made thee whole go in peace when the prince of peace tells you go in peace your sins are forgiven go in peace the power that held you captive before is broken and shattered go in peace there is peace in your heart the peace of salvation the peace of forgiveness and the peace of redemption go in peace and as you go 
the whole of thy plague. No more plague. No more sickness. No more powerlessness. No more pennilessness. No more injury in your life. She heard. She came in the press. She said, If I only touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. She got what she confessed. You'll get what you, what you confess. Somebody there, salvation is coming to you. What are you? I say, where are you? Salvation coming to you. Healing coming to you. Freedom coming to you. The peace of God was settled in your heart right now. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. Your moment has now come. Your time of salvation has now come. Your time of redemption has now come. He will touch you. And the healing virtue will flow into your life. The saving virtue will flow into your life. You come and you want all the defilement of sin taken away from your life. All the guilt, condemnation of sin uh, taken away from your life. You want the fear of judgment for your sin taken away from your life. You want to experience the forgiveness of God, the salvation of God, and the peace that comes with salvation wherever you are. Raise up that hand. Remember, the woman heard, you've heard. Now you must come, come, come. He, she came and then the saving virtue of the Lord that brings peace walked in her life. Anywhere you are, in any congregation, in any country, in your own house, you are online, you are online and you want that salvation of the Lord now. Just raise up your hand where you are. Leave every other sin now. Concentrate on this. The saving touch of the Lord is coming upon your life. You are raising up your hand wherever you are. Over here, over there. Please stand up. This is your time. Please stand up, stand up, stand up. She took a step. She acted out her faith. She said, I will touch him. I will touch him. You are indicating by standing up, I want all my sins forgiven. If you are not sure of heaven, you must stand up. You might be a church goer, and you might be a Bible reader, and you might be a singer, a hymn singer. You might be a person paying tithes and offering in the church, but you do not have assurance that if you've dropped dead now, you'll get to heaven. The divine touch of the Lord will come upon you and forgive your sin and save your soul. That's why you've heard, now you have to come. And you indicate your calm by just standing upright there. Then uh, tell the Lord, O oh Lord, tell him, tell him, O oh Lord, I believe and I accept you are my Lord and my Savior. By my faith, by my confession, I touch you now. Let your saving virtue flow into my life. Forgive me. Grant me peace in my heart, in my spirit. Grant me the strengthening virtue to go and sin no more. And now begin to live in newness of life. Tell him, believe that small grain 
of faith that you have say yes lord i believe by my will i've surrendered myself to you and you said whosoever comes to you you will in no wise cast off you have accepted me thank you lord i have the peace i have the forgiveness i have the salvation thank you lord it's done i pray for you now father in jesus name i pray for everyone who has heard who has come and who is receiving your forgiveness and peace right now forgive them in jesus name let your salvation come to every heart here there online every country everywhere lord you're no respecter of persons save them forgive them give them your peace now in jesus name we well, thank you lord we know you have answered it is done you have saved them they have faith in you you have forgiven them confirm it in every heart in jesus name thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord in jesus name we pray please keep on standing our counselors are coming to you right there and want to get the details from you so that we'll keep on helping the same thing with all our brethren online and all those who are congregated in churches anywhere everywhere in every country let's do this one reverently and seriously wholeheartedly and then i'll come back all your yokes are broken tonight Give me a good, good, and no go. Amen. Cancer of priests, attend to them quickly. Get their names. All the details that is required. Please fill it correctly. After that, you return to the ushers and to the counselors. And counselors, please, immediately you finish, you give the card or the cards to the person coordinating. And those who are online, please, get the forms. You see the link over there. Fill the forms and submit through the same link. And the law. We continue to hold you. It's for us to be able to reach you and to be of greater help. And those who are listening over the radio and you have made that decision in every any village, anywhere you have made the decision, please identify yourself and the Lord will hold you. Please cancel us quickly. Let's attend to them outside, inside, in all the halls. We do not expect any counselor to be idle now. It is the time we should get busy. Please quickly identify them. Those of them who can write, give them to write. And after they have completed the form, they return to you, look at it to ensure that everything is correctly fit. Please give us your name, your address, and the name in, that you are known for in the place where you live. If it's a village, tell us how to identify you, how to get to you. Don't just fill the name, and that is all your name your address and then your phone number all the details that are there after you have filled you return the form the card 
to the cancerous. Then they will give you the converse package containing the letter from the man of God to you, showing you how in a systematic way you'll be able to grow in your faith. And also you have a number of things there in that package that will help you like four steps to life. You read through and you follow it and I'm telling you you will be a growing Christian. Cancerous priests in all the halls. Let's get to them and take their names and their details. And those who are online, please get the form, download the form, fill it or fill it online and submit same. And in all the other locations, please, this is counseling period. This is the time we need to get all the details of all the paper that made the additions in all those locations. And for those who are just there, if I were you, you are not part of those who made the decision, you will be telling the Lord, Father, I will not let you go tonight. You will visit me. You will touch me. Cancel us, please. Let's be fast so that we can get back to the time of miracle prayer. Those who are outside, please, as my source outside, ensure that everyone that indicated and those in the youth hall, the Igbo audience, please. I believe that people are there counseling them and getting all the necessary information. Let all that gave their life to Christ be attended to, please. And let's ensure that the cards are correctly filled. And once you are through in your hall, please indicate and let us know. Hall one, are we all right? Okay, thank you, God bless you. Hall two, and when you finish from the hall where you are, please quickly get outside and help our people because we have more, much more people outside than inside. So many, so you quickly get there to help us. Don't just limit yourself to. The hall where you are, please, so that we can quickly round off. Hall two, are we true? God bless you. Hall three, are we true in hall three? Okay, God bless you. Hall four, are we true the immediate hall by my... Please, let's tidy up quickly. Hall five. It's okay, let's tidy up quickly. Hall six, are we okay? You are true, God bless you. Hall seven, are we true in hall seven? Okay, God bless you. Please, let's attend to the people at the back of hall seven. The overflow over there. The same for hall five. Quickly, attend to the overflow over there. Those who are outside, please, are we true? If you are true, please, supervise us, come in and indicate. Outside, please. Are we true in all the halls? We are true now. What of outside? Our leaders outside, please let me know if you are true. We don't want anybody to be negated or bypassed. Everybody who gave their life to Christ needs to be attended to. And the same thing all over the locations. And the online audience too. Okay. You are true in hall outside over there. What of outside to my middle? To the middle? Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. Now it's time for miracle prayer. And the man of God is coming now. Rise on your feet. And receive your needed miracle.
Praise the Lord. Your time has come. Why are you there? Remember, remember, she heard, she came in the press, did not allow multitude things around to disturb. She centered her attention on the Lord, and then she said, The moment I touch him, I shall be made whole. When you hear the name of Jesus, that's the connecting touch. I said that's your connecting touch. The feeling you have may be a little. The urge you have may be a little. That little feeling urge, that's the evidence of the touch. And the servant of Elijah went and went and stayed there until the mighty rain came. You check yourself. If you are lame, you rise up and go walking like I'm walking. If you are blind, you open your eyes, you will see like I'm seeing. If you have a try it is, when you hear the name of Jesus, you believe, you get up, you fold, you stretch, just like me, you'll be all right. I will be all right. Online people, say it where you are, I will be all right. Anywhere you are in any location that divine touch is coming upon you tonight, miracle, yeah. healing, yeah. deliverance. Yeah. Raise up your hand, touch the other place where you have the problem is coming. When you hear that name, Jesus, the fountain of your issue will be dried up. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you thanks. We give you praise because your attention is upon all your people everywhere right now in Jesus' name. By faith, we touch you. The blind, the lame, the deaf, the dumb, the cancer patient, the one that is serving tuberculosis, and the one that has goiter, an hunchback, elephantiasis, any kind of disease, or they have leukemia, or prostate, or it's diabetes, right now, by faith, everyone will touch you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Healing virtue from heaven. Powerful virtue from heaven. Deliverance virtue from heaven. Miracle walking virtue from heaven. Mountain moving virtue from heaven. Supernatural torch and virtue from heaven. Upon everyone right now. My right to my left to my front, outside, everywhere, anywhere. In all congregations, in all countries, with all individuals and families, everyone connected now, connect them with your miracle power. Lord, it is done. We believe it is done. We know it is done. We confess it is done. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. The miracle is there right now. The healing is there right now. The power is there right now. A little feeling, a little urge. That's it, that's it right there. You can open your eyes and see. And then if you brought deaf and dumb people, talk to them. Everything is all right. You're in a wheelchair. You can rise up now. You are working with Walker. You can rise up now. You have been bedridden and impotent. You can rise up now. 
power has come upon your life. You have got it. You have got it. You have got it. Begin to do what you are not able to do before. Begin to do what you are not able to do before. If you were blind, open your eyes, you can see now. You are lame, begin to work. Wherever you are, begin to do what you are not able to do. Test them now. Don't sit down, check yourself. Don't sit down, check yourself. Because the miracle power has been released. Where are you? God has done it. The swelling is gone. Somebody is shouting already already. Somebody is shouting. You have got it. As you have got your own, shout praise the Lord and begin to come out. Come to hall number six. Everywhere, outside, inside, everywhere. Your wheelchair rise up now. She's walking already. She's walking over there. She's walking over there. Keep coming, keep coming. Anywhere you are, just come out. The Lord has touched you. The power has been released. Where are you? Where are you? Rise out of your wheelchair. Drop your crutches. Drop your walking stick and begin to walk. Are you paralyzed? Were you struck with stroke? Just keep coming out. Come out. Come home to all number six. Join them. God bless you. Jump that hand. Very well for Jesus. Just keep coming. Keep coming. Make ways for them. Make way for them. The Lord have done it. Rise up. Drop your walker. Drop your crutches. It is happening. It has happened. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Bring them to hall number six. Wonderful. Jam your hand together for Jesus. This is power night. What God has done shall be permanent. Check yourself. Where are you? Come to hall number six. Bring them out from outside, from inside, everywhere you are. Wonderful. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. As you discover, see her walking. See her walking. As you discover your miracle, just come out. See her. Look at her. Wonderful. The Lord is at work. Keep coming from all seven, from all six, from all five, all four, three, two, and one. Keep coming outside. Check yourself. As you discover your miracle, the swelling is gone. Come out here. Or you got your miracle yesterday and you are not able to give your testimony. Come out here. Keep checking, keep checking. Keep checking yourself. Wonderful. Wonderful. Are you a wheelchair? Just rise out of your wheelchair. Rise up. Are you using waka? Just drop it, come out. The God of miracles is at work. Divine touch. See, see, see him coming. Miracle. Jam your hand together, be brethren. Check yourself. This is night of power, night of wonders. In all the other location, in all the other location, online. You know, our location all over the world. Check yourself. Because the power of God has touched you. Don't be a spectator. Don't be a spectator. Check yourself. As you describe this wording is gone, come out. The ulcer is gone, come out. The cancer is gone, come out. The goiter is gone, come out. The hunchback. 
the Lord has done it. Check yourself. Check yourself. This is not the time to relax. The miracle power of God is moving already. Power night. Power night. Yes, keep coming. Keep coming. Make way for them, please. Don't block the aisles. Don't block the eyes. Make way. Let them come. Come out tonight. It's night of power. The Lord have done it. Are you deaf and dumb? Speak to them now. You will discover they can speak and they can hear. Whatever the problem, the Lord has taken away that problem from the fountain. That issue is gone. As you describe your miracle, come to hall number six. Our leaders are there. Bring them out. Bring them out. Leaders, please, let's interview them and then line them up for testimony and online and in all the other locations satellite location get ready your own testimony because we, we are going to hear your own testimony whatever the problem elephantiasis is gone hunchback is gone check yourself yourself please let's get the testifiers ready once you are ready you let me know wonderful look at the crushes going up wonderful wonderful check yourself the power has been released please make way for them clear from the aisles wonderful god is great outside keep coming god is at work please clear the way anywhere you are the power of God has been released. The power of God has been released. Wonderful. Shake yourself. Whatever you are not able to do before, begin to do it now. The Lord has released his power. You are not a spectator. Are you strike by stroke? Rise up now. Don't stop lying down. Get up. The power of God has been released. It's happening over there. It's happening over there. This is power night. It's happening over there. Check yourself and come and bring them out. Bring them out. Whatever problem, you have no more problem. It has been taken away from the fountain. And all over, check up. The Lord have done it tonight. As we begin now to listen to testimony, please begin to keep on checking yourself. The power has been released. The miracle is happening right there. 
Keep on checking yourself. Your wheelchair, as you begin to hear this morning, you rise up and come out, and the Lord have done it. We want to start with testimonies right now. You can have your seat, but keep on checking up. You are sitting on the on the promises, not on your problem. Once you discover the miracle, you keep coming. Let's hear the first person, please. Keep checking up as testimony is going on. Something is happening over there too. Something happened over there. Please let that person come out. Won't you discover the miracle? Bring them out. See, it's happening here. Wonderful. This keep coming, keep coming, bring him out. I'm telling you, tonight is power night. Tonight is power night. Anywhere you are, check yourself. As you listen to this one, don't keep checking. Keep coming, keep coming. See this one walking from here? That one happening over there? Happening over there? You know? Outside, check yourself. As they are coming out, keep checking yourself. Let's take the first testimony. So what happened? Sister, please go straight to the testimony now. Has a problem been there? for three years. Put your hand together for Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. It shall be permanent. Thank you. She has not walked for 17 years. But after the prayer of the man of God, he said, man of God, you are welcome. You came because of me. After his prayer, now she's walking and full of joy. Jam your hand together for Jesus. You never can tell. Somebody lying without walking for 17 years. It's not easy. Let's hear. Amen. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Last year, March, I was afflicted with leg ulcer. 
So as man of God played, after he played, he said that everybody should wake up. Then I stand up immediately. Then my leg is okay. Praise thy Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. My name is Ucho Kompo from Obofio Kunano. Amen. Leg ulcer. Since last year, she can't walk with it. She uses crutches, but now she can put the leg on the ground. You can see how can see him walking, can see him going, can see him going. No more pain, and it's gone and gone forever. God bless you. Go enjoy your miracle. The next person. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Pastor Ugoke Christopher Ifai of Deeper Life Bible Church, Obolo region. So it happened on the last uh, crusade held at Kalaba, signs and wonders uh, for the needy. I was terribly sick. I went to uh, lab tests and uh, it was discovered that I'm having complicated uh, issues. So. Uh, I was about dying and I was having I was having low BP arthritis infection ulcer and uh, all over my body very very painful to me so I started the treatment which was the, just the first week and I was almost dying so I could not even uh, pastor in my church to stand up there and I have to, I phoned the doctor that is there to see me, so I should come up with all those drugs he has given to me. I took up, I took them up back to him, and he said he should change it. And I told God, if he cannot heal me, there's no other physician that can help me out. By the grace of God, the second day to the last uh, program, at the GS parade, I got my healing completely and permanently. Praise the Lord! Put your hand together for Jesus. As you are listening to the testimony, keep examining yourself because the power has been released. We take one more testimony, then we go to the social media. Go ahead, the next testify after him. Praise the Lord. Afamu Peter Otobo. Since last year, ka ukumbu ne boom. Man, my ukumbu. Since last year, and the moment we ke, mm kiroaru ike, mm kiroaru ike, mokam furo we tihe. So ka m ka atoriha. My mother sim, my mother sim nanga nanga suwe genia. Unsea o nanga eje. So, orute, orute nya. The thing they are carrying worst. I'm saying, namu amanjoke ya. Osi mu mu kwadogude no gadem mu. So, kwadogude kwadogude kwaduche. I bagote nsuka. The thing, ukuma biya biya, obiya carrying worst. So, i okum ne, odi okum ne kude. All them come on Nachibas. But my mother, she won't continue to do it by nature. Koru Terita Hata. Ka man of God, didn't make me. Adinam, Adinam, Neba. Okoro Mi Kwoto. Koko Chere Bere. Ka Amya Abya Ngwete Ngwe Mu. Ngwe Mu Bye Mu Kanon. Nya Ngwete Gomu Ngwe. Amen! He's... He gave his testimony and he said he have been having problem on the spine and waist pain and they cannot stand was brought here the day before yesterday that's uh, yesterday and he was lying in all seats at the back cannot get up cannot stand cannot walk and the pain became worse he was even discouraged thinking of going back but the mother encouraged him but after prayer tonight, she stood, he stood up, 
from that back and he stood all this while no more pain he is well and is healed completely jam your hand together for jesus now we go to online to listen miracles happening all over the world online we begin at aneke chizoba aneke chizoba The fornicator is not worthy. The adulterer is not worthy. The gambler is not worthy. The thief is not worthy. The violent, fighting man or woman is not worthy. And the one that is going from woman to woman is not worthy. Just going to church does not cleanse anybody. It is when you make up your mind today i'm taking a personal definite decision i'm coming to the lord cleansing will come jesus christ shed his blood in the same blood what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus anywhere you are and you are there online in your room in our hotel room in your garden, anywhere you're seated with your family or by yourself, and you're listening now, and you want to surrender and give your life unto the Lord, this is a sacred moment. Anywhere you are, raise up that hand to say, Lord, I come with all my heart, with all my soul, I turn away from my sin and I turn to Jesus, my Savior. As you come, the Lord will receive me. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the call. Call to salvation. Call to forgiveness. Call to repentance. I pray for all these who are standing, those who are by themselves, those who are before the screen, and those who are connected now and they want the mercy they want the compassion they want the salvation of the lord give them the assurance of salvation in jesus name let your spirit bear witness in their hearts that they are now children of god we thank you lord because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray that clip you just watched is right now on Pastor W.F. Kumui's Facebook page. Here are quick steps to like and share this video that you've just seen. Log into your Facebook account. Two, navigate to Pastor Kumui's official Facebook page. Click on the like option. Then you have liked the video. To share the video, one, click on the share button. You can now share on WhatsApp, share on Facebook, Share to groups, share to family and friends. Listen to this. Someone somewhere is crying. Someone somewhere is dying. Why would you let them die? Send them this clip now. Help someone out of the dungeon of despair. Don't hear this alone. Spread it to your family and friends. Tell someone to tell someone, and this way, everyone will be liberated. This crusade is ongoing till the 31st of August, and all must be set free. Divine Touch for Total Freedom with an international gospel evangelist, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumi, ministering alongside an international gospel artist, Dan Moen. Let everyone be set free. And with that, we move to testimonies of freedom happening immediately after the prayers of the man of God. Anneke Chizoba has been having pain on her hips since yesterday. It became worse after she woke up this morning. But when the man of God prayed, he said, place one hand 
on your body and raise the other one up. And Neke Chizobas wrote that instantaneously she was healed and the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. And now all the way from Ifoma Ogbodo online, the train of divine touch touched her as she has been having pain in her ankle for some time. But after the prayer of the man of God, something again about the final amen. And after the final amen, the pain miraculously and instantly disappeared. Praise the Lord. Precious Cyprian received a precious miracle. He said, I thank God for his divine touch of healing upon my life tonight. Specifically, he was healed from recurring infection that started few months ago. After the prayer, infection is gone. Praise the Lord. And now we go all the way again from online. This is coming from Sister Buki. Re divine touch she received happened to touch a stomach pain which started today. The pain has been disturbing such that even throughout the message, she could not really concentrate. But towards the end of the message, she felt a sensation in her tummy. And after the prayer, lo and behold, the pain vanished completely. Amen. We take you to the United Kingdom where Sister Debari wrote, I've been having severe pains at my right shoulder for four years now. Before the JS preaching, she told herself that she would believe. And at the end of the message, after that final amen, healing took place. And she said she read till 3 a.m. this morning and found out that all the pains had totally disappeared. Praise the Lord. And now this is coming from Priscilla Ayogmi Ayomiku. She says, I have a wonderful testimony. And this has been about a divine touch releasing my kidnapped friend. We have been praying since yesterday. And the divine touch as was going on today, she was released. Thank you, Jesus. We move finally to River State Live before we return to the state overseer. And here is the testimony live from River State. First of all, this is another testimony coming from River State, right here in the Bonnie region. We can see our father here. He's been going through sharp pains since the year 2012 after he was hit by a strange bullet. But by the grace of God, at the amen of the man of God tonight, the whole pains of 12 years is done. Praise the Lord. You can hear from him now. I thank God for God has healed me. My name is Sonny Johnson in Bonin region. And I thank God for healing me today, today, just today, as the man of God prayed, and then I got the healing. After final, amen. Amen. And now we return to the state of Asia. back we want to take the next testifier and as I listen to the testimony please keep checking yourself because the power of God has been released and you never live here the same let's listen to the next person please 
Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Damian Honor Andrew. I'm from Isuzo region. And I want to thank God for how God delivered me from a pain. I had a pain on my right ear. It was disturbing me since last semester. It was very difficult for me to read each time the pain starts. Even this semester, it started like that. It goes, it comes. But I told God this program, I'm going to receive my touch. And I received this touch yesterday. But I could not give the testimony. So this evening, I said I am going to testify that I have received my touch. Praise the living Jesus! Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord touched him yesterday. He wanted to be sure. Now he is sure. And he came and gave testimony. Another person, please. The next testifier. I am Ayubnam Victory Tochuku. I am from Atala, Okanot in Anambra State. It is a joyful thing to see the man of God. Throughout his ministration, my inner man was revived and was refreshed. And I pray God give him more hundred years ahead in his ministry. In Jesus' name, amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. The next person, please. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Annie David. I'm from Amod region, Deeper Life. The Lord has been great for me. What He done for me is not easy. A woman cannot do it for me. Any man cannot do it for me. I will never ever doubt my God. Though. I will never doubt Amen. my God. Please though. go to your. I will never ever doubt my God. Though. His mercy is for real. I can never ever doubt Thank my you, please, God. Thank you, brother. Though. Let's have I your testimony. My God. Though. I can never ever doubt my God. The next testifier, please. Please go straight to your testimony when you get there, please. T your name, your testimony. Please, no singing, please. So that others can be given opportunity. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Sister Angela Ugoge from Aku region. I want to bless the name of the Lord for the great things that He has done for me and for this my little girl here. It was during the last uh, crusade. Sense and wonders for the needy that the Lord Almighty visited me. So I was from, suffering from ulcer for good 12 years now. But during the, the crusade, after the ministration of the man of God, and now we, we now went home. And even this my little girl was suffering from ulcer too for about six years and now. So after the ministration of the man of God on the last day of the crusade, we now went home. And this girl called to our dad and said, Daddy, do you know that the Osa is gone? She, so he said to her, how do you know that the Osa is gone? So she narrated everything uh, about the, the thing because she used to vomit uh, blood before. But after the, the prayers, this, everything concerning the Osa just vanished away. And it reminded me of something that I should check up myself too. And I checked out myself, the severe pains caused by the ulcer, everything about the ulcer, I found out that everything vanished away. And I bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Did you not hear that testimony? The child had been suffering ulcer, even sometimes vomiting blood. But now, after the prayer, during the last program, everything was cleared up. No more vomiting of blood. No more ulcer. Put your hand together for Jesus. And keep examining yourself because 
the Lord have done it for you too. That's another miracle happening. Bring, let him come this way. Let him come this way. Bring him, bring him down this way. I tell you, as the testimony is going on, miracle power abilities keep taking yourself. It has happened. It has happened. It has happened. Why the testimony is going on? Check yourself. You must not take your problem home. Leaders interview them and make sure everything is well ordered. Amen. We take the next testifier. The next testimony, please. After that, we go to online audience. Another has happened. I'm telling you, the testimony is going on. It's happening right there where you are. Let's listen to the next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. By God's grace, my name is Brother Anointy. All the way from Kongi State, Angpa region. I'm here to testify the goodness of God upon my life. For more than five years, I'll be having serious chest pain in my body here, in my left side. So, believing God yesterday, having faith in Him, I see God do touch me with divine touch in my life. And that pain for more than five years disappear immediately. And also seeing God healing me. Yeah, this evening, I see how God touched me. I was healed of shoulder pain this evening. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together and celebrate this great miracle of God. Amen. Keep checking yourself. As you see the miracle, you come out. Let's hear from our online audience, please. And remember, tomorrow's meeting starts by 4 p.m. 4 o'clock tomorrow let's listen to our online audience if we have some from the online miracles happening instantaneously victory Hwandia had nausea vomiting and stomach disorder this happened after she drank some things given to her by her parents despite her disapproval it got worse for four weeks the problem got so serious no appetite to eat and she was lying down after all the problems but during the prayer the man of god prayed she wrote i suddenly became strong i jumped up and i said i want to eat and i don't throw up again god has done wonders in her life praise the lord and this is coming live from facebook again something about that final amen joy okenwa says I had this pain after a 20 kilometer run and as a result serious pains on my both legs but at the final amen tonight the pains disappeared praise the lord all the way from the united arab emirates am i sosa wrote i am watching from my workplace i had running nose and i had serious aches immediately after the prayers as the man of god finished everything dried up instantaneously and he wrote i am healed completely praise the lord and now i have this from blessing sonia wakama on facebook the divine touch came upon her and depression is gone more testimonies coming from the social media as from the international perspective we see this testimony written he says i have been having pains all this while but the pains just after the prayer of the man of god vanished away this is joy okenwa from london and then we have this other one from Benin republic a particular sickness was eating this man's bones in the leg and the leg that was supposed to be cut off got miraculously healed tonight after the prayer of the man of god according to his writing 
I have thrown away the cane. I can walk perfectly now. Praise the Lord. We now return to the state overseer. Put your hands together for such testimonies. God is good. Amen. We listen to live testimony from here. You can Praise go ahead. The Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, this morning, let me just go straight to the testimony. This morning, when I just came out before the message, before the program started this, I mean this evening, I was going outside to buy something. You know, the security we are was holding this girl. They say, come, come, come. Look at the chain they used to chain her. They say, come, 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 come. That you not go anywhere, you not go anywhere. Uh -uh. I was looking at this small girl like this. I said, ah, this person like this is behaving this somehow like this. I said, ah. After I, just, I was at, at the back watching what they were doing, I said, okay, let me go on my own. I called her, I said, come, what is the problem? I said, do you know about Jesus? It's only Jesus that can set you free. He said, eh, 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 eh. just one kind statement. I said, it's only Jesus that can set you free. I said, remove the chain from her leg, we remove the chain. We drag her, I drag her, drag her with the mother, we drag her, we start going. I tell her it's only Jesus that can set you free. Only Jesus. Accept him. Believe on him. You will see something great will happen. We drag her, drag her almost, drag her almost near the supermarket there. She behaved somehow. We chained her. Children was, she thought, children was all over her, looking at her. We, we were praying. I said, God, this girl will never go back here the same. As when I not chain her on one on one high on like that, I chain her leg, chain her there. We stayed there. I was inside the hall here praying for her. Say, God, as you have healed me, you will heal this girl. You will heal this girl. After the prayer, they say, check up. I went outside. I lose the chain from her. I said, stand up. Your miracle is there. Stand up. Your miracle is there. She rose up. Behold. She's smiling. Look at her. She can say her name. She can tell you who she is. Praise the Lord! Now ask her the name, her name then. Her name is Ada. Amen! Put your hand together for Jesus. This kind God is She is smart, violent, and was chained. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, the chain was removed. She came to her senses and is going to be permanent. Put your hand together for Jesus. The next testifier, please. I am 
Uncle Sister Gloria Ede, Esna Enugu region here. So, here Chineke Meremu, Obula Dina Onya, the program Bido, my routine program. So, my, our dad in the Lord in a message. So, our former Biahu come, came now, more than many message, or more here, Madam Neme. So, Taka, he had a Yemusubu, Madam, we obito, obito, a message. Bobby Dori, but I say, Bobo, I marry you with a problem. Give me, give me that can ever wage that can a form. Immediately, all the end of the prayer, I form a home away disappear. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Remember, as you are listening to others' testimony, your own testimony is taking place. She has problem with her stomach, something hooked her. She can't you know express uh, i mean get up or move out not it was almost useless but after the prayer of the man of god tonight the whole thing released her she is free now she can do move about she is free god is not a man neither the son of man he will never change, neither will he repent. Hallelujah. What God have done for others, He will do for you. We will be ending here tonight, but I want to. The first authorized biography of the founder of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry is finally out. Kumuyi, defender of the faith. Detailing his early years, his conversion, his call, his conviction, his exploits in ministry, his journey from then until now. Read the first-hand account of people who witnessed each event. Find out his vision, his mission, his passion, and the reasoning behind his actions. In the book, Kumuyi, Defender of the Faith. Find out the story behind monumental moments of Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. Moments that are now forever act in history. With forward written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe of the redeemed christian church of god this is the book the world has been waiting for kumui defender of the faith coming soon in all leading bookstores watch out